Thank you for joining me on this TMK Essentials training video. Uh, this is part six, maps. Okay, your map button is gonna be down here on the bottom, the show map button. Um, not every account is gonna have this. So this is an added service. If you don't see the map, the show map button down there, um, you will have to give us a call and we will uh, put you in touch with our sales department and they'll talk you through like, what you get with the, the map button. Um, the cost and everything. So you do, it is an added service to your account. Um, okay, so uh, show map. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, by default, we put your map on the top here. Uh, we do have settings that I'll show you later that you can move the map to different uh, areas, maybe if you want it on the side or something. But by default, your map's going to be up here. I have no search parameters, so this is why um, the map is just up here on the top. I mean, it's just showing the whole state. Let's go ahead and enter in a parameter or a tax key. Let's hit search now. And this is generally what your map result is going to look like. So I do have just one match. Scroll in a little bit just so we can see a little better. Okay, this purple P stands for parcel. You can click on any of these flags. Clicking on it, you'll get a little box that pops out, kind of give you a, an overview of what's what's included. I mean, um, what what's going on with this parcel here. This pin, this is a pin. Let's scroll in so you can actually see the little icon. Now this is a pin icon. It's also up here in your toolbar. You can click, hold, and drag and drop this pin. So let's drop it on that one. It opens up 31. I dropped it on parcel 31, kind of telling me what's going on with this parcel. Let's keep click back. So it's going to try to drop in sort of the middle of the parcel. That's why I couldn't see it. But, but yeah, pretty simple. Click, hold, drag, drop opens up the TMK full. Okay, so you can also grab it from up here. So I'm going to grab from right up there. Drop it up, drop it there. Okay. Okay, so um, your toolbar, upper left hand side. That's your zoom. So I can just click on the little magnifying glass if I really wanted to zoom in on here, I can. Zoom out right there. There's your pin. Uh, next is your measure. Drop up in the measure. You get a couple of things to choose from. If I just want to measure one line. So for some reason, I wanted to measure from this side of the lot to that side. Drop it. Gives me my measurement of just one straight line. Next one is our segments. So this one, you're able to take turns. You're actually dropping anchor points. So for some reason, I wanted to see how far this block is. And drop points and notice that it says double click to complete if I double click here I end my line so three segments got my total so segment it out and then the total when we, when you do the segment there the segment um, selection path is freehand so if you're good with drawing freehand feel free to do so I don't prefer to do this but you can if you would like to Okay, clear. Next is your area. Uh, let's zoom in for this. Okay, so for area, you are gonna wanna complete the shape. So if I want to see how far these lots are, these two together, should have gone all the way to the edge, but that downloads in the way for my example. Um, notice it does say double click to complete. So I'm gonna double click. It's gonna draw me my last, um, my last connecting line is just going to go straight line there. It's going to give me my perimeter and my area. Okay, so that is your um, your area selection. Um, what I want you to do, so when you do use any of our measurements, just take it as a reference, as even if you know you are able to get it right in that pixel in the corner, up to that pixel, it's still not going to be official you know it'll get you really close but if you want official measurements of course go to you know the, the survey person or go with the county records you know just um just if you need a quick reference in of, of your of what you're looking for you can use our system okay uh next one is your latitude longitude so what you're gonna cut you're gonna get a crosshairs a crosshair that you can use just click it's gonna drop an x Something's wrong. Um, you're going to drop an X and you're going to get latitude, longitude, um, I guess, measurements or data. You're going to get the latitude, longitude data. 
Uh, this is more for you know I mean you you can do it anywhere in the state, but it, it's more for like Big Island, like when they have the the vacant lots. You're trying to just find it out where there's no real um, streets or something. But anyway, latitude longitude, pretty simple. Just click it, drop your crosshair, and you're good to go. Okay, and notice I am using this clear button. So if I have some stuff on here, I do want to hit this clear button to, to get rid of that X. Okay, next is your draw. What you're going to do with these, you're actually drawing shapes on the map. So I'm going to click rectangle, zoom out a little bit. I'm going to draw a rectangle. And notice in my search request on the bottom, I have in the map rectangle. So this is actually adding to my search request whenever I draw shapes. So let's modify it to go back. Let's take that off. Take off the tax key because that tax key is over there. It's not in our rectangle. Um, let's do... I'm looking for something easy. Bedrooms. Uh, five bedrooms. Let's see in this rectangle what has a minimum of five bedrooms. Let's hit search now. Uh, quite a bit. Zoom in. Wow, lots of stuff. I think maybe there's some condos in here. Okay, but yeah, notice all the P's. Um, again, central parcel, you can hover. You get a little bubble that opens up, letting you know what it is. If you want more info, click on it. You'll see this uh, sign of stuff there. Okay, so um, that is the rectangle. Pretty straightforward, just draw a rectangle. Let's clear the shape out. Um, Polygon, similar to your rectangle, except you are dropping anchor points again. So if for some reason I wanted to draw a different type of shape, not just a rectangle, I can. I am dropping anchor points. Double click to finish and finish up my line there. Let's do more than five. That was a lot. Eight bedrooms. Let's search that. Uh, good. Better, better amount of matches here. Okay, so yeah, that is your polygon. Next is uh, freehand. Freehand is just if you're good with your mouse, you can just draw a shape. Uh, clear. Circle. Okay, so circle, what you want to do is you want to start in the middle. Sorry, I'm zooming in and out and stuff. So say that is, say this is your subject property right here. You start in the middle and you drag out. So I'm going to drag out. It does tell me what kind of radius I'm producing. So if I want a mile radius, I just gotta get to a mile. Here we go. There we go. So a mi uh, one mile radius from the middle. Let's see how big that is. So that is my mile radius that I just drew. I can do some search results and run the search. Okay, so that is your, your draw, rectangle, circle, polygon, okay? Um, what you want to do from the map is you want to use this action drop down. So the action drop down is where you're going to be able to print, email, etc. Put it in the basket if you want to. So let's take a quick look at copy. Preparing map to copy. Uh, my pop up is blocked. Always allow. That's a pain. That should not. I should have set that up earlier. Copy. Come on. I said allow, I shouldn't get blocked again. Okay, here we go. So this is this is the, the map that we were seeing. This is what it produced for my copy. Now I can control A, control C, paste it into my uh, my document. Okay, um, let's clear you out. We don't want your circle bothering us. Yeah, so whatever you do here, it is gonna do exactly what you see on the screen. That's why I had that circle on my on my copy. But yeah, so here's your action. Um, you can print, PDF, email, whatever you want to do here. Um, it's good to basket this kind of stuff. So for example, maybe I want to basket my map. Place it in my basket. Let's go back to search. And then let's go ahead and basket my search results, my, uh, my results on the bottom here. Now when I print this, so this is in my basket. Um, when I print this, I will have the map up top. And I have my results on the bottom. So this is what my uh, I produced in my basket. Okay. Close those up. I'm um, still on my basket. Back to the search. 
Okay, next one is go to. This is just pretty much if I wanted to jump, um, jump to the other islands, jump to Kauai, and then I'm gonna use my mouse to zoom in closer so I can see some parcels. Yeah, but that's all the go to is. If or if I'm already you know navigated away here, I can just jump back to where I have the pin, push me back on Oahu where we're just looking at. The download. Okay, so this. If you want to download the tax maps, you can. So meaning, let's just take a look. Island tax map. Downloading down here on the bottom. Let's take a look. Island tax map. So the whole island here. And next um, next is going to be the zone section, the plat, finally the plat. So you can download the plat of whatever your, uh, wherever your pin is. Just open that up. That's the plat. So pretty much the island drilling down to your, your plat. You can download these maps from from right here. Okay, these icons up here. This is your so if you do want a full screen and get more um, work with more of the set the more of the map on your screen, just go and hit this full screen button here. It gives you more area to work with. If you do want to get back to your search results, make sure you do half it because you know it, it is in the back. It, it's kind of just hidden. So if I hit modify. You know, there's no real indicating that I'm back on the search fields until I have screened this down and now I can see I am on the search fields back here. If I hit search now, you know, I'm back over here. Okay. Um, full screen. Yep, full screen. Full screen that. Uh, the pop out. Um, you can actually pop this out and have a standalone map. So let's pop it out to show you. So this is standalone. I can move this around independent of what I'm working on. If you would like to work that way, you can. I prefer to use the full screen um, personally. Okay, uh, next one down is your layers. Pop this open. So on the top, you have your base layers. Notice this is choose one. You are defaulting to standard. And on the bottom is your optional, choose any. So you do have to choose one base layer up top here, and then you can put as many um, sub layers optional layers down here so for example if i want to use my rainfall layer i can add that on as these kind of blue lines here uh, elementary school districts check mark that gives me some of you know more just more layers on top of my map depending on what i'm looking for okay so there's your rainfall um your contours let's toggle that on uh, this is how you're going to find elevation in our system um, parcels generally don't have elevation data, you know, on, on the, the public data from the county. So you do want to use um, some kind of map layer to figure out what kind of elevation your property is on. So we are using 100 foot intervals. And if we, sc I'm going to scroll out so you can just see how crazy it gets uh, with the contours. Um, so you do want to zoom in to, to find your, your, your parcel. Um, we've had requests to try and do 10 feet or 50 feet, but that's just nuts. Meaning, you know, so right now it's a hundred foot intervals and this is how many lines we have. If we have 50 foot intervals, we're gonna double the amount of lines here. 10 foot, I don't even, I can't even imagine what it's gonna look like. But um, actually the layers that we are getting from the various counties, they, they don't do less than a hundred foot intervals. So we, we're not able to, uh, to give you 50 foot, um, uh, 50 foot layers, it has to be a hundred. Okay. Anyway, um, take that off. Okay. So base layer standard, let's go ahead and use our aerial. So we do have, um, satellite imagery in our system, but it's kind of old and really we will never be able to compete with, um, with Google and Bing. So you probably do want to stick with those guys if you do want satellite imagery, but we do have it if you just want to quickly see it in our system. But like I said, it's pretty, it, it is kind of outdated. They are super, super expensive and we're not going to beat Google or Bing anyway. So anyway, that is the satellite. Colored plats, uh, tax maps. I'll show you the tax maps in a bit here. It's got to zoom in. I can't click on it right now or I can't use it because I need to zoom in a little bit more. Your colored plats, 
Okay, so this is just color coding the plaits. There's no real rhyme or reason to the coloring. It's just separating them out by color. Um, if I scroll down on the bottom, parcel numbers. Okay, I have parcel numbers, so I just, I just have to zoom in. Here we go. Okay, so um, pl uh, plat 58 is this kind of green. Plat 52 is this light blue, still part of 52 over here. 51 is this kind of purplish blue here, violet-ish color. Yeah, so um, the system is just giving, you know, um, plats that are close together, just different colors, ju just to color code them, just so you can know, know where the difference is. That's pretty much all the color plats does. Color subdivisions, pretty similar. Um, down on the bottom, subdivision names. I'm going to click this so we can see the names. Halava Hills. Let's scroll. Halava Hills, Halava Heights. So, yeah, again, just putting colors, um, different colors on the different subdivisions, just so you can visually see the difference between the two, between whatever else is out here. Okay. So, like, that's a darker green, you know. Aea Park versus Aea Heights. Just, just letting you know that it's different with the colors. Fire response zones, flood zones. Let's, let's take a look at flood zones. Kind of gives you an idea of what kind of flood zones you're working with. Lava hazard. Um, pretty much just for Hawaii Island. Bit codes. Now you know what the bit codes are. And the zoning. The zoning. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, so you can just play with those, um, play with those layers, see what each one does. Okay, so I just drop my pin just so I can have a subject property here. Um, the tax maps, just check on tax, I'm going to click on tax maps. So what we've done is we've taken the tax map scans and placed them on our maps. Um, we did have to kind of rotate and just do our best to to fit the, you know, um, not flat image, but kind of a horizontal image. We did have to kind of tilt and try our best to fit these in. But notice if you look close, I don't know how, how well you can see it on the, uh, on this video here, but notice how this red line is not exactly matching up with this top, this top street line. It's just, we did our best to try and map the two different mapping systems. One is hand-drawn, one is generated from the county by a computer. So the lines aren't exactly matching up, but they'll get you pretty close there. Or we did our best to get as close as we could here. So that is your tax map um, base layer. Click back to standard. Okay, so um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just know that when you're drawing again, drawing something that is going to add to your search request on the bottom. Um, in order to do anything with this map up here, uh, so for example, if you're half screen, if you if you print from down here, you're only printing the search results section. If you want to do something with the map section, you do have to use the actions on the top here. Um, you can do what I did, put it in the basket, and then put this in the basket, and then print from your basket, and then you'll have two on your one sheet of paper. Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, go ahead and get into the system and yeah, feel free to, to play with our mapping system. Hope you found that useful. Feel free to stick around. I think we'll have a few more videos for, your, for you to view. Um, if not, you have a great day. Aloha.